I gave up on coffee about a month ago. The first few days were pretty rough. I was just having terrible shakes, really bad withdrawals. But now I'm much more sophisticated. In the mornings I now drink black tea. I will throw a little collagen in there, some creamer. I brought my jet boil out here today, so I'll heat some tea up and check out the scenery. So this is what's on the lunch menu for today. I have some salmon, I'll put some seasoning on it, some lemon, then I'll half these Brussels sprouts, cook it all up, take it straight to the face. And of course, you aren't a real man unless you're drinking kombucha, lavender love. I've been told that I am to remain 300 feet from any school or public park. I didn't pace this out. There is a park right behind me, so I'm just going to try to keep a low profile. This park is where the upper elite of the homeless world come to eat. Not only do you have a very nice park, but you also have full gym access. This is how the final product turned out. Now I'm gonna slather her with some lemon and dig in. To hold myself over between lunch and dinner, I have a few different snacking options. The first thing I like to eat are some almonds, high in good fats, low carb, I'm pretty into it. Then I'll have my favorite nutrition bar, the Quest Bar. It's pretty low sugar, doesn't completely taste like a piece of chalk, which is always an added benefit. I'll wash all that down with my guilty pleasure, chocolate milk, fresh from the cow's udder. And lastly, I've been trying to incorporate more beets into my life. When I'm at work, I have access to an oven, so I'll slice the beets up, throw them in the oven, put some cinnamon on them, and make myself some beet chips. If you have never eaten beets before, just be aware when you go to the bathroom, you may think you're experiencing some major internal hemorrhaging. That's just the beets working their magic though. This is what I use to keep everything cool. It is a 45 liter Arctic cooler. I put ice in it about five days ago and there's still plenty left. I bought a divider and also a basket so I could separate food items. This is what I'll be eating tonight. Mystery item one here is beef liver. I used to eat it kind of regularly. I'm trying to get back into it. The taste is pretty awful but I read on the interwebs that if you marinate it in milk for a couple hours before cooking, it's supposed to help neutralize the taste a little bit. To help mask it even more, I'll cook up this onion as well as some garlic, um, mix that in with the liver. And then for my side dish, I got these mushrooms and asparagus pre-cut from Safeway. I'll cook those up and just see how much of it I can mow through.
I'm just trying to make sure I don't overcook the liver because if you overcook it, not only does it taste kind of bad, but it also turns into a piece of rubber and it's just impossible to eat. I can tell you that the milk method to neutralize the flavor of liver does not work. The mushrooms are pretty yummy though. I'm moving on to just dunking the individual pieces of liver into some Sweet Baby Ray's buffalo wing sauce. Which is actually a lot better. In the back of my socks and underwear drawer, I keep an emergency supply of gummy bears. I will only consume these if my blood sugar is getting too low. To combat my late night munchies, I usually have a post meal meal. So tonight I'll be having Fage Greek total yogurt, mixing that with a whole cup full of pomegranates. <laughs> 